video shows you how to prepare the database server and create a new cluster that connects to an existing database that is running on a dedicated machine. Before you can create a new cluster that connects to a database on a dedicated machine, you first need to prepare the database server to be able to connect to ClickSense. Download PostgreSQL. A PostgreSQL database is used as the repository database. The server should listen on port 4432. When the download and setup is complete, open PostgreSQL, create a login role, and assign a password. Once you've created a login role, create a new database and name it QSR. Set the login role that you just created as the owner. The database is now created. Next, you will need to configure PostgreSQL to listen to requests from the RIM nodes. Copy the file postgresql.conf to another folder and open it in a text editor. Change the listen underscore addresses line to listen underscore addresses equals single quote asterisk single quote. Change the max underscore connections value to 100 times the number of nodes in the ClickSense multi-node site. For example, in a multi-node site with two nodes, we would set the max connection value to 200. Save the postgresql.conf file and replace the existing file. Copy the file pg underscore hba.conf to another folder and open it in a text editor. This line determines which servers can access the server upon which the repository database runs. The default setting is set to allow the local host to access the database. To allow all servers to access the repository database, use 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0. When finished, save the file you just modified and replace the original file. The database server is now configured to be used with ClickSense. Be sure that port 4432 is open in your machine to enable connection between the servers. Now you have to install ClickSense on the machine that will be the primary node of the ClickSense cluster. Start the installation program and select Shared Persistence and then accept the license agreement. Select the option Create Cluster. Enter the database host name, that is, the address to the database server you just installed. Leave the port as 4432. Then enter the name and the password for the login role you created in PostgreSQL. State where to store data and resources that should be accessible from all nodes in the cluster in root folder. You can create a shared folder and make it available to everyone. Copy the link and insert it in the root folder field.
Specify an installation location or leave it to be installed at the predefined location. Enter the username and password for the dedicated service account to run the ClickSense services. On the Host Name screen, select the machine address and then select Install to run the installation. You have now installed a ClickSense node that connects to an existing database and you have created a new cluster. After the installation, you need to perform the initial setup. You can watch this video to see a step-by-step -step guide on how to activate the license in the Click Management Console and how to allocate user access to yourself to start using ClickSense. If you already know how to activate your ClickSense license, you can watch this video tutorial that shows you how to join an existing cluster. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.